Hello everyone, it's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars, and I'm coming right back at you with another spectacular vehicle, except today it's a motorcycle. I'm sitting on one of the best 1966 Honda CA77 Dream Touring 305s on planet Earth. This is a one owner machine in an absolutely show quality condition. Come check it out. Okay, so I'd like to start off this presentation by saying if you have not been following uh, MS Classic Cars, please note that we only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. We've been doing that since inception. I would advise to please check out our website, msclassiccars.com. We have a great website. We have over 750 sold vehicles that you can reference on there. Some of those vehicles include motorcycles like you see here today. Uh, MS Classic Cars is no stranger to the Honda Dream. Uh, they're a great motorcycle. We actually sold a few of these uh, over the last year or so. Uh, one of them was sold on Bring a Trailer, and the other one was sold to my business partner where it sits in his private collection. Uh, those were two magnificent dreams. Uh, we were very, very proud of those. I uh, didn't think that I would probably ever find one. I haven't seen one since that was restored to the level of those machines until I discovered these. Um, when I say these, there's actually two of these that were uh, part of a package deal. I'll kind of get into that in a minute here with you. Uh, but what I'd like to do is I'd like to reference uh, some notes uh, here off of my presentation and just give you a little bit of a background in regards to the history of the CA77 Dream Touring 305. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, maybe just do a little Walk around of this as I read this. Uh, sold throughout the 1960s in the United States, the C Series Dream represented all of Honda's latest technological uh, advancements, according to Honda historian Aaron Frank. With elaborate touring bodywork, it necessarily was the public's first idea of the motorcycle, so clever marketing was required to reach new riders. The Dream name diverged from the 1949 Model D, a 98cc two stroke. It's like a dream. One enthusiastic observer proclaimed at its unrevealing. The first C-Series Dream appeared in Japan in 1957 and the rare CS76 Sport 300, which had an underswept twin pipes, was Honda's initial offering in the States. Imported in, from 1960 to 1969, the CA77 Dream became the mainstay. With the air-cooled single overhead cam 305 cc parallel twin with single 22 mm Kenan carburetor, it produced about 23 horsepower at 75 
1,500 RPM and propelled the bike to 85 miles an hour and delivered better than 50 miles per gallon. A bargain at $595, the Honda Dream was easy to operate thanks to the electric start, distributor ignition, and a smooth four-speed transmission with rotary design that allowed direct fourth into neutral shifts. The so-called monobeam chassis of steel, uh, which was stamped steel, and covered front forks of a leading link design made the dream reminiscent of the contemporary triumphs with the bathtub styling. The toaster tank had chrome side covers, large black knee pads, and a vivid Honda emblem. These bikes were available in red, blue, black, and white, and sometimes had matching saddles. Under flared, deeply valanced fenders, the 16-inch wheels often wore white wall tires. By 1965, the Honda had become lodged as America's mind and the dream had much to do with that. So that kind of gives you an overview uh, of what it is. Even Elvis Presley uh, had a Honda Dream. If you Google it on the internet, you'll see his. Uh, these were extremely popular. Again, they're really, really special. I'm gonna just read this paragraph uh, here and then I'll walk around the machine and then I'll demonstrate some of its mechanical features as well. But this is off the website listing that I've composed, and this kind of tells a little bit of the story. This magnificent 66 Honda CA77 Dream Touring 305 is a one-owner motorcycle and one of the best restored examples known to exist. When I say that, that is a fact. I don't think there's a better example known to exist than what you're looking at here today. It retains 90% of its original parts that were restored, which is rare, time consuming, and very costly. We do have some photos in our gallery that shows uh, this bike completely disassembled. And again, 90% of the parts on this are original to this bike. Took them off, had them restored, et cetera, et cetera put them back on, you just don't typically find that. It was purchased brand new by a gentleman named Robert Marcellini who lives in Vulcan, Michigan. I'm gonna to refer to him as Bob. Bob and I have become really good friends. He's a nice guy. Um, I'm probably gonna buy some more things from him down the road. Uh, but again, he was the original owner. Unfortunately, he did not have his title you know, from 1966, he, he got new titles as he moved and did certain things in life. Didn't keep the original bill of sale, you know, who does that back in the 60s, especially for a motorcycle. So unfortunately, I don't have paperwork, you know, dating back to 1965 or 66, but uh, at the end of the day, he was the original owner, which I thought was really cool. Um, Bob enjoyed this motorcycle for many years and accumulated a total of 17,400 original miles. Bob is an experienced automotive restorer and decided to restore this motorcycle in 2018. Here's what I was talking to you about earlier about the package deal. When he decided to do the restoration, he purchased another 66 Honda CA77 Dream Touring 305 that had over three, just 3,000 original miles. He purchased this bike off of pictures on the internet for sale, and his intention of purchasing that machine was to source parts for this machine. When that machine arrived uh, at his house and he started studying it, he realized there was no way he could disassemble it because it was in such great shape and use it as parts. So what he did in 2018 is he restored both of these together. So when you see the pictures of the restoration, you see uh, two of each item. He obviously uh, had a system for organization for determining what parts belong to what machine, but all of that is in our pictures. In the background over there, that is the other one that eventually will be coming up for sale. But again, both of these were restored by Bob at the same time. So the meticulous show quality restorations were completed in 2020 and they have less than 40 test miles on each. This example here sports its original red color, which is absolutely stunning. It's powered by its original 305cc engine, which runs and sounds amazing. 
After being the caretaker for 56 years, Bob decided to sell his pride and joy to MS Classic Cars in May of 2022. This is the first time we've ever shown these to the public. Uh, MS Classic Cars obviously purchased the other one as well. These dreams check all the boxes. So that's kind of the story. Uh, what I'd like to do right now is just a quick walk around uh, presentation. And as we're doing our walk around presentation here, I'm going to uh, also demonstrate uh, the features and how everything works. So let's start from the front. As we look from the front here, uh, this is concourse show quality condition. The paint on this machine would be reflective of a six figure restoration for a classic car. The paint work is spectacular. When you look again at all of these parts on this bike, 90% of them are original. Some of the parts were sourced uh, through different websites that, and they're Honda OEM original parts, such as the grips. But when you look at the front here, all of this sheet metal on this entire machine is original. It's in beautiful condition. The body work is excellent. The paint's excellent. You'll notice that the seals around this front fender are new. You'll notice this is all original and beautiful condition here. The speedometer is original. Again, it shows 17,439 miles. The handlebars are original. They were re-chromed. You'll notice these right here, uh, these were added. This is a great feature. These are turn signals. So we have turn signals in the front. We have turn signals in the rear. Uh, that's what these are if you're wondering. But all of the, uh, again, the handlebars are original, the levers, uh, the mirrors, everything is in absolutely spectacular condition. Getting down to the front brake system here, again, all original, all restored, these covers and so forth, all the bolts. This is the definition of a true nut and bolt restoration. Now, one thing, that Bob did tell me about this front wheel. This front wheel, he did purchase brand new. Uh, so this is a re reproduction version of the original wheel, but he noted that these spokes are actually Honda OEM spokes. The only real part of this machine that's not original uh, is the wheels. These tires were sourced from China. These are a very a uh, hard to find, very expensive tire. I think Bob said it took almost a year to get these tires. These are 100 slash 90, 16 MC, uh, beautiful white wall tires. He wanted to make the bike look as original as it was when it was new. Uh, so again, let's uh, real quickly turn this key here and just show you, you see how the light comes on like it's supposed to here to indicate the key accessory is on. I'll go ahead and turn it on and off so you can see that. When we turn this all the way here, you'll notice this headlight is in great working order and there's a headlight high beam switch here. You'll see how that changes accordingly. Uh, so all that is in great working order. When we flip the turn signal, you'll see the turn signal working. That's like an LED deal. I think that's really cool. Same thing on this side as well. So that's in great working order. Again, the horn is also in great working order. So again, everything on this machine is in great working order. It does have electric start, which I'll show you in a minute when I start it. It also has the kickstart option. Uh, as we make our way over to the side here, I do wanna point out again, this is the original fuel tank. Uh, again, everything on this bike is concourse. It is absolutely spectacular. These are the original chrome pieces on the side that I referenced earlier in the description that I was reading. Uh, these were chrome, re-chromed and so forth. Everything was redone. He said these black pieces here, these are where your knees would go when you're sitting on it. He said that even these were original and they were just sent somewhere to make them look really, really nice. Now, here's a very interesting part about the engine. I'm just gonna kind of make my way to the back here. This is so meticulous and in such beautiful condition, it's like a piece of artwork. Every single screw, but here's where it gets really interesting. He never rebuilt the engine. He said the engine internally was so clean and since he was the original owner, it ran so good, it never smoked. This motor has never been apart. He actually cleaned it up, you know, did routine service work to it and so forth. Um, obviously when he was doing everything, fluids, uh, spark plug wires, uh, rebuilt the original carburetor, which is stamp CA77. He did all of that, but this engine has never been taken apart. 
We took it outside today to start it up. It started within five seconds. I was uh, explaining to Corey, who's doing the video here with me. There's no smoke. This thing just sounds so good. Talking about the sound, um, these, uh, these header here this in this muffler, this is actually a custom deal. I just want to make sure that I reference it uh, on my notes here accordingly. Um, it, it, I put here it breathes through a dual exhaust system with Dunstall wide mouth mufflers. So he said that was kind of a popular deal uh, back in the 60s and this thing has a really nice sound to it. So the mufflers are obviously not original but the pipes were sourced from classic Honda restoration. He believes they are NOS correct pipes uh, on the machine. But you'll see the horn up here. Again, you'll see all the cylinder head. Is, everything is just in absolutely beautiful condition. Behind here is the battery. Um, I'm just gonna read again and make sure I describe this battery. It's a yellow Mobat 12 volt AMG battery, brand new. You can see that in our photo gallery, how detailed all the wiring is and everything else. The foot pegs are in brand new condition. They say Honda on them. Even the gear shift lever here is super nice and chromed. Again, you'll see in the restoration photos how everything was laid out. Everything was restored to the highest level and then reinstalled. Uh, the seat has the original seat frame. Obviously, it's been reupholstered in its original color of red, which is spectacular. Again, this is the nicest one that I have ever seen. Um, in the corner down here, it's hard to get a picture of it but it does have its original VIN number stamped on the frame. You gotta get a flashlight and kind of angle it at the right angle because it was painted over, but we have pictures of that in our gallery as well. As I said, uh, this is the original motor for this machine here, and um, the VINs and the motor numbers never match. They fell into a sequence, but clearly this falls into the sequence and this is original to the machine. You'll see all the suspension in the back here, again, painted to the highest quality. This is, again, spectacular is how I would describe it. This is a high number one condition product here. The rear brakes, again, these wheels were brand new. Honda OEM spokes, white wall tires. Oh, why we're on the back, let me show you uh, the turn signals on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this back on. Let's go ahead and do, you can see the light here. You can see the LED turn signal. Same thing with the other side. Bob did such a beautiful job with this. I give him so much credit. I cannot wait to buy the next vehicle from him in the future. Uh, again, making our way over to this side, you'll see it's an equally as beautiful condition here. Again, all the chrome work, the rear fender, the guys in the detail room did a beautiful job detailing this as well. At MS Classic Cars, we really, really go above and beyond with our detailing, our photography. We try to do these videos and be as educational as possible. Again, these pipes are in beautiful condition, brand spanking new. Kickstarter, the rubber, the spark plug wires, just everything about this. We got our fuel. This is where you turn the fuel on. You got your reserve and so forth. This runs excellent on pump gas. Uh, on the note of uh, running this, if you're looking for a Honda Dream to drive frequently, this is not the machine that I would recommend. And uh, you could, it's not that you couldn't, but because this was restored to such a high level, this is something that really belongs in a museum, it belongs in a collection where it can be on display so people can see the beauty. You can start it, you can drive it, maybe just occasionally, but if you're truly looking for something to use all the time, uh, this is in such beautiful condition, I, I just wouldn't recommend it. Uh, that's just my opinion, but whoever buys it can do whatever they want. I just wanna make sure I'm crystal clear how special this is. So again, we'll kind of make our way over to the, the front here. Again, when you're looking at the cylinder head, you're looking at these spark plug wires. It's of course got an NGK plug. These are a special silicone tiger tails, yellow spark plug wire. You'll see the casing and everything, how beautiful all the silver paint is, the rear brake lever. Uh, again, all the nuts and bolts, everything is in concourse, perfect condition. I guess if I were to say, Anything negative about this entire machine, I think if you look right here, which we could easily touch up, there's a couple of tiny little chips there. Again, no big deal. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put my clipboard down and I'm gonna sit back on this and then I'm gonna go ahead and start it. 
let you listen to how beautiful it runs. And then what I'm going to do is drive it out. We'll make one lap in our back parking lot and then I'll bring it back in just to demonstrate that it does operate. But I have driven this. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this down here. And then what I'll do is demonstrate for you how beautiful it runs. So we got our key on. You don't need to pull the clutch in. I'm gonna do that just for obviously safety purposes and go ahead and fire it up. That's all there is to it. It runs absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off and demonstrate for you how it shuts off. A lot of times when you start these machines and you get them running uh, and then you shut them off, sometimes they're temperamental when you shut them off. This one is so dialed in. It starts as you just saw beautifully, runs beautifully. So what I'm gonna do um, is go ahead and start it again uh, and then we'll give it some nice revs so you can hear it. You'll notice there's no smoke coming out the tailpipes or anything like that. And then again, like I said, we'll take it for a quick little spin. So before I go ahead and do that, if you have not uh, signed up for the MS Classic Cars VIP email blast, please do that. That's the best way to follow our company. We have thousands of people that are on there. Uh, we are also on all the social media networks. So if you have not followed us on there, we would ask that you do that as well. MS Classic Cars is not a high volume dealership, but we are doing great things. Please, again, do your homework on our company. We own everything that we sell. I personally handpick everything that I sell. We service our vehicles. We detail them. We present them. We're transparent. We stand behind them. I coordinate all your paperwork. I assist with all your shipping. Even when this machine gets loaded into the enclosed trailer, no matter where it goes in the 48 lower US states. I'll even cover it with plastic so when it arrives, it looks as good as it did here in this video. So I appreciate you watching. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and start it. Let you listen how beautiful it runs. I'll go ahead and uh, give it some revs for you as well. Thanks again.